Hi everyone, this is Marta, one of the lawyers of Balsage Group and through this video we would like to explain you uh, how to proceed in order to get the non-lucrative visa. First of all, uh, you have to know that the non-lucrative visa is a residence permit uh, in order to live in Spain that don't allow you to work here. So it means that, that you can be living in Spain for one year, the, the period of the validity of this card, but you cannot officially work in Spain. This visa is ideal for, for those who want to come for the first time to Spain so they can live here for one year and they can travel uh, around all the country to see where they want to be based during the following years and also for those who are retired and they just want to come here to spend the, the, year, the years of their retirement. The fact that you cannot be working in Spain, it means that you cannot receive any incomes that comes directly from our country. For those uh, non-EU citizens that want to apply for this visa, maybe they have their own business in their country and they could even apply for this visa. But of course, here in Spain, they cannot receive any, any income from this business. Secondly, I'm going to explain to you the list of items or the list of requirements that you have to prepare in order to ask for this visa. Uh, well, you have to keep in mind that this visa, you can only ask it in the consulate where you're currently living. So it means that you can only apply in the Spanish consulate or in the Spanish embassy of the place where you are uh, currently living or in the place of your uh, home country. Uh, for instance, we have a lot of clients from uh, some Arabic countries that they are currently living in Dubai, but they are not uh, UAE citizens. So what they can do, it's not applying in their own country, but in, in Abu Dhabi, because it's where it is based the Spanish embassy in Emirates. So uh, in concrete, the list of uh, requirements that the, the Spanish embassy or the, or the Spanish consulate will ask you are the following ones. Uh, the first one is that you have to submit, of course, your passport or your, and your residence permit in case that you are not living in the same place of your, uh, of your country. Uh, the second requirement is the most important one and it's showing uh, the sufficient means to be living in Spain for one year without working. Uh, actually, the, what the, the Spanish authorities want to see is that the main applicant has a uh, means to be in Spain without re receiving any uh, aid from our government. So the minimum amount request is 26,000 euros. Uh, you, can, you can show these 26,000 euros with, your current, with a current bank certificate issued by uh, an official uh, bank of your country. Also, there are some clients that, that they don't have the, all the amount in one bank, but they can show uh, all, the, all the different accounts that they are holding uh, abroad. So this, this can help you. Um, also, another way that you could show that you are economically dependent is, uh, is showing the bank, the bank statement of the last six months. So it means that you can show that during the, la the period of the last six months, you were holding minimum around uh, 2,500 euros that this is the, the minimum amount request per month. So if you show the 26,000 euros plus these bank certificates, this could be more than enough to get the, to get the non-lucrative visa. Uh, so to sum up, uh, just to keep in mind that uh, in order to get the non-lucrative visa, you need to show uh, an amount of 26,000 euros in an account. It doesn't need to be in Spain, so you can be holding this amount abroad in your country or in the place that you are currently living. And also, this 26,000 euros doesn't need to come from the same account. So if you are holding two or three accounts, you can show all of them. The third requirement is to show the criminal records of all the countries that you have been living for the past five years. So it means that, for instance, if you are living in USA, but you are a Mexico citizen, and you are living in US for three years, you have to show the criminal records from USA and the criminal records from, from Mexico. So remember that any document that it is, that it is issued by a non-Spanish authority, it has to be legalized and translated into Spanish. Actually, a lot of consulates ask for a sworn translation of any of these documents. So we recommend you to contact us because we have uh, a lot of translators of any languages that they can do it and that they are recognized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs here in Spain. So this information can, can help you in order to get the visa. The fourth requirement is to get a medical certificate uh, issued by a doctor of your country or by a doctor here in Spain that can state that you are not suffering any, any disease that is regulated by an international agreement. This medical certificate, you can get it in Spain if you are here on vacations or you can also ask it in your, in your country. 
there is no problem and actually in a lot of consulates they don't ask for this legalization. It's the only document that can be exempt of legalization and translation into Spanish. And the fifth requirement is to get a private health insurance here in Spain or to have a private insurance in your country that can be used here in Spain. You have to keep in mind that in the case that you are holder of a Spanish private insurance, this insurance cannot contain copayments or vesting periods. So it means that from the day that you start paying this, this policy or this contract, you can, be using the, you can be using the insurance. We would like to mention that depending on the consulate that you are going to apply, these requirements can be uh, slightly different. For instance, there are some consulates where, where they ask for a lease contract or, or a property uh, deed here in Spain and in some consulates they don't ask for it. So the most important thing is to be in contact with the consulate where are you going to apply and to have the list of the items that you have to prepare. Well, the list of documents I explained to you is only for the main applicant of the non-lucrative visa. But of course, as any kind of visa, the main applicant can come to Spain with, with their relatives, like uh, his spouse, her spouse, and, and kids. Then, in case that the main applicant is coming with uh, some family members, you have to keep in mind that the amount, that the amount requested will be more. So for one applicant, it's only 26,000 euros. For, but for each additional family member, we'll increase this amount per 7,000 7, euros more. Well, as I explained to you before, this visa is only valid for one year. So uh, when this visa will expire, you have the chance to renew the non lucrative visa for two years more. One of the most common questions that our client is asking us is about the amount request in order to get the renewal. So, as the renewal will be for two years, the Spanish, authority, the Spanish authorities are asking for 52,000 euros for the main applicant. So, in case that the main applicant is renewing the non-lucrative visa with, with his or her family, this amount will increase up to 14,000 euros per each additional family member. Uh, finally, I just want to mention you that according According to our, our previous experience, we highly recommend to all of you to contact us in order to get the non-lucrative visa. Because actually we have a worldwide experience and we have applied in several countries like US, Mexico, Russia, China, in Japan, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Morocco, Lebanon, Algeria. So we know that in some consulates or in some embassies they have their own requirements and we already know that. So we know that depending on the consulate or the embassies that you can apply, they are changing constantly all the requirements, but we already know that. So we highly recommend to you to contact us and we will, we will make the process as smoothly. Uh, here below you can find our contact details, our phone and our email and we will be more than pleased to help you in getting the non-lucrative visa.